at Advizon, we have uh, been coming to T3 since 2014. So 2014 is actually when we launched our product. Um, first and foremost, T3 continues to be such a first class event. Uh, it's fantastic seeing all of our existing partners, whether it be vendor or custodial. Uh, and then this space has been growing tremendously. I mean, if you go back and look at what it was like in 2014 to what it is now, it's it's actually amazing uh, when you think about it. And really, it's also great that we all share this common mission of uh, certainly serving our advisors, but also the end investors that our advisors are serving. We're fortunate enough to have been the highest rated all in one for the last seven years. Uh, I think that's a byproduct of a couple of things, but first and foremost, it's really keeping user experience our, our core mission at Advizon. So whether that be the, through the technology or through our uh, customer engagement or customer success, um, you know, we, we really feel like our single source code vertically integrated platform on top of how we support it with our people uh, sets us apart from our competitors. Although uh, certainly there are a lot of great competitors out there that we have great respect for. So. Like I said, user experience is fundamental to everything that we do. Um, so we want our platform to be enjoyable to use day in and day out. And I think that also means we have to provide a fresh pers perspective or fresh skin to our platform. So we wanna change the user experience and really continue to modernize it. Uh, we think that that'll continue to set us apart. Um, but as far as what we're doing within those changes uh, does speak to some of what we're seeing kind of industry-wide as well as outside of the industry. So. AI, machine learning is gonna be something that we're leaning into quite a bit, um, certainly to increase our customer engagement or customer success interactions, um, but also data insights that we're gonna be able to pull using these great new technologies out there to just change the way that users are able to interact with their data in our system. Um, and then leveraging some of that machine learning, uh, it also speaks to some of the automation and smarter workflows inside of Advisor. So certainly, AI and machine learning is meant to provide that built-in intelligence. Um, so we think we can also translate that into smarter workflows and just a better user experience from that perspective. So our very first conference happening February 20th down in Phoenix, we're super excited about it. Um, I would say why now is really about the user experience like I just talked about. Uh, so not only have we been engaging with our users through our technology and our customer success, uh, I really think this gives us an opportunity to increase our user engagement and increase that, again, user experience and really put our advisors as the central focus for everything that we're doing. So our conference is no different than that. We're not there to you know, sell them a bunch of new things or anything like that. We're really trying to share our roadmap and our vision, allow them to get to know our, our team that they don't get to interact with on a daily basis, but also get to interact with those people that they are engaging on our customer success team and our sales team and otherwise. Uh, on a daily basis. So uh, we have a lot of exciting stuff that we're gonna be sharing with our users at our conference. Um, so yeah, again, aside from getting to actually meet our advisors face to face, uh, you know, ho hopefully have some great content for them as well.